Georgia citizens pay the fourth highest electric bills in the United States. But we will soon pay the highest. Why? In 2009, Georgia Power convinced the Georgia Public Service Commission that new nuclear power was needed to meet Georgia's growing electricity needs. The commission approved the $14 billion cost. But we will never know what energy needs justified such a high cost because the commission allows Georgia Power to label this information a trade secret. A trade secret is meant to protect a company's intellectual property from its competition, but Georgia Power is a monopoly and has no competition. And our commissioners prohibit citizens from seeing Georgia Power's plans for future electricity needs, even though we're paying for it. Even worse than not having access to this important information is that the $14 billion that the commissioners first approved in 2009 ballooned to $23 billion in 2017. Just four years later, in 2021, Total costs have increased to $30 billion and are now piled up to be the most expensive power plant project on Earth. Plant Vogel is a slow motion disaster about to hit Georgians and their pocketbooks hard. Everyone knows nuclear is the most expensive way possible to produce electricity by far. That's why no other state in the country would agree to make consumers pay $30 billion for the relatively small amount of electricity that these new nuclear units will generate. None except Georgia, that is. Georgia is not a rich state. It's in the bottom 10 for personal wealth, income, and rates of education. So why is Georgia the only state in the nation to build expensive nuclear power while other states choose electricity that keeps bills affordable? Because nuclear power generates huge profits and Commissioner Eccles doesn't like to tell Georgia Power no, even when it hurts citizens. Watch as in this Public Service Commission session, Tim Eccles pretends to protect consumers while he actually gives Georgia Power a blank check to spend what they want. And I, I want to take this opportunity to make clear that I have no interest in changing the certified cost or approving any additional cost increases for Vogel before the units are finished and in commercial operation. Georgia Power knows that it can recover prudently incurred e expenditures on the project. So increasing the approved cost now is not necessary to finish the project. All right, stop. That may sound harmless, but when Commissioner Eccles says, I have no interest in changing the certified cost or approving any additional cost increases for Vogel before the units are finished. What he's really saying is that he'll allow Georgia Power to run up exorbitant costs that could add another billion dollars on the backs of ratepayers without knowing in advance how much more the project will cost. He wrote Georgia Power a blank check in 2017, and he's perfectly fine letting them add more zeros. He just doesn't want us knowing about it until all those extra dollars are spent. Eccles is elected to protect consumers from monopolies, but he's a hypocrite. He should be reviewing expenditures every quarter throughout the project instead of waiting until the end, which is still years away. This is irresponsible and negligent. Not only is his refusal to review costs hurting consumers, Eccles primarily serves his own interests. How do we know? An email he sent on the same day that he voted to continue funding Plant Vogel in 2017 shows that he emailed the CEO of Georgia Power, Paul Bowers, to say he wanted to be pictured between him and the president at the ribbon cutting. Now, the project is 100% over budget and is still not done. Tim votes yes every time Georgia Power asks for more of your money. Now, it's your turn. Vote no to Tim Eccles for Public Service Commissioner on your November 2nd, 2022 ballot.